Hi, this is Mark Frischat from Georgetown County School District. And uh, today what I'm going to do is show you a new single sign-on server that we are rolling out uh, here in Georgetown County School District. Uh, so if you're someone that has a lot of different accounts and struggles to remember your username uh, or your password, have no fear uh, because this is going to be your personal savior. Um, so with that, this is something that students and teachers can use across the district. And I'm just going to give you a quick tour today of what it can look like once you're set up. So with that, um, you'll notice first I'm using my Chrome browser. Um, and I am currently logged into my Georgetown County School District organizational Google account. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and open up my bookmarks bar by clicking on those three dots, going to bookmarks and showing bookmarks you'll see that everyone in Georgetown County School District, when they log into their organizational account, whether you have hundreds of favorites um, or you haven't added any, will have this GCSD bookmarks page. When you click on that, you can come right down here to class link. You'll choose class link. And now again, I've already signed in and synced mine with my Google account. Um, however, the first time you sign in, you'll have to put in your um, AD username, so the same thing you log into a district computer with, as well as your password. Um, I'm going to bypass that because I'm already past that step. So I'm going to click Sign In with Google. You'll notice that it's going to log me right in. And now once I'm in, um, what you'll see is you'll see two things. Um, first, in this um, part right here, you'll notice that these are my apps. So I've got mine organized by um, ones that I use for teaching, ones that I use for coaching, obviously my Google Office ones. Um, and you'll also notice that I have a folder over here that I don't use, that I that were pushed into our account, um, but I don't have uh, any username or passwords for. So I just moved those over here. Again, once you've set this up and organized it, um, it the beauty of this is, is I can click in and say for my Kahoot account, I could go ahead and click on this. You're going to notice it'll automatically sign me into my Kahoot account. Um, same thing with Quizlet. If I've got a Quizlet account, again, it's automatically one click away. It's logging me directly into my Quizlet account. Um, and the same thing for any of these others. You'll notice that I have a folder over here called Coaching. The same thing. I could log into Arbiter, click on that now. It is going to go ahead and it is going to sign me into that account. Um, or the same thing for Max Preps. If I had to maintain that account, it's going to sign me automatically into my Max Preps account, um, <coughs> our Planet High School, as well as Crossover and other things. Um, so again, I'll just close out of that. It also has me signed in because I'm in Chrome to my Google Apps. So my Google Drive, um, Classroom, those sort of things you can see. Office 365, um, I could go ahead and click on this. And it's going to sign me in, so now I can access my Outlook. I can access, um, again, my OneNote. I can uh, Word, you know, again, OneDrive. Any of these Office 365 tools automatically log into. Um, so again, you can see the benefits of this. I'm just one click away after setting this up. And I don't have to worry about uh, my Rolodex of usernames and passwords. The other side to this that is a huge benefit as well is right here under My Files. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. What's great about this is now once you sign into ClassLink, you can connect um, which services you want to add to this. So you can see that I have my Google Drive. This is everything inside my Google Drive. Um, what's cool about this is, is not only does it have all of my folders, I can also type in right here and search within my Google Drive. So if I had something um, specific that I was looking for inside my Google Drive, I could go ahead and type that in. It's going to open it up, and now this is a live working document again. Um, I can do anything I want with that. Um, the same thing goes for my Office 365 folders. Um, in OneDrive. So again, I can click in any one of these. Um, <laughs> and again, you're going to see that I've got my folders in here. I can access those things as well. Um, now, what's nice, an added benefit to this is I can also, all teachers have access to their school network. 
Um, this may take a couple seconds to load, but what that means is now if I'm outside of the school district and I'm into my class link account, I can go ahead and have access to my H drive, um, whereas before this was never possible. So now I can go ahead, um, click on my H drive, and you'll see that these folders are going to go ahead and open um, so you can get into your H drive and then everything's inside there. Again, I can open these up. I can go ahead and work on these and I can update them on their live working documents. So again, it just gives me that freedom that we didn't have before. Um, if you have other services such as Dropbox, you can also add your Dropbox accounts to these. Um, so again, it's pretty exciting. Um, and with that, this is ClassLink in a nutshell. Um, we're going to release a series of videos to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and set up your account so that way um, you can access it from wherever you can get to the internet.